Um, has Uraniumac left the building? Oh no, he's right there. There he is. Coming up after Eversion is Bleed by Studio. And we'll follow that with Dust and Elysian Tale by Vulagen. And then Outlast by St. Connor. We have a $50 donation from Matt, 199,054. Says, thank you all for putting this marathon on. It warms my heart to see so many wonderful people come together selflessly for a great cause. Much love, love Matthew. We have a $20.23 donation from Backward SN. It says, good luck, Lurk, and take Ikachan to where no squid has gone before. Did you know that if you donate at least $5 during the Eversion game, you will be put in for a chance to win the Eversion Perler set? Featuring this cute little leaf, the star of Eversion, as well as the final prize. which I believe is the princess. Spoilers. Look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, so this is a wonderfully cute little game. <laughs> uh, a pretty simple platformer. Uh, it's got some interesting mechanics to it, though. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm hoping that uh, there should be some time to read donations, but uh, it's still fun to watch. But, um, I believe the, uh, the pretty sure the incentive for all gems was met, right? Yes. Okay. Remember last I looked at one. Like all gems and true ending. Um. So I'm very tired though, because I've been up since seven in the morning today. But, uh, so if anything goes wrong, I'm blaming it on that. <laughs> anyway, uh, three, two, one, go. So, the all gems run of this will basically unlock the true ending. And already you can kind of get an idea of exactly how the uh, mechanics of this game work. Because every so often you'll run across, uh, places where you can hit the space bar and it'll flip to, it'll change things about the uh, way the world works. Like, in this layer, the clouds are not solid, uh, the trees are solid, there's flowers everywhere, um, but if I switch to the second layer, suddenly the clouds are suddenly our platforms I can actually stand on. Oops. Off to a great start. <laughs> Well, some of these jumps are really mean. Yeah, the, the, the collision in this game can be pretty tricky, badly. And in the all gems category, there's a lot of doing things in the right order, because sometimes you have to go to another layer to like unlock something that you need to uh, get at the gems in the layer that you can actually get them on. That was something, the little flashing thing you just saw is something that's specific to the Steam version. There's a letter um, in each world. This is a deliberate death. This will save a little time getting back to the checkpoint here. Um, once I've actually picked up the gems, I don't need to pick them up anymore. Good enough. And this I'm going to actually do slightly inefficiently because the... Uh, 
the method for getting this, um, the positioning of these, of an enemy later in the level is very important, and getting it in the right spot while also getting all of these gems is really inconsistent, so I'm going to actually grab all of these gems and then restart the level so that, uh, I can more easily manipulate the guy's position. It's only about 10 seconds worth of difference. But it just makes this a lot, a lot more consistent. There's actually a glitch with the... There's actually a glitch with the uh, collision where if you jump right as you're leaving a corner, you can actually fly, but you um, can't really use that in all gems because there's really places where it's useful. So that guy I just jumped off of, he needs to be in, this pos in that position or I can't jump off of him, um, which makes it very difficult to get up to the gems up there. Gotta wait for this guy, it was a little too slow. I have to wait for him to get all the way over to the right or I can't get these gems up top. But, as you can see, this world is gradually getting more and more dangerous. Almost screwed that up, but thankfully that guy was in Oh man, this level. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so this, well, that part's kind of tricky because that, that hand hitbox is bigger than it looks. And I can only get those gems down there in this layer. And this is the first layer where those gems actually show up. I was kind of half expecting it to fall down there because jumping back at it is going to be kind of tricky too. Thankfully, that's. There's only really two tricky spots in this level, and that's one of them. That was not one of them. <laughs> this is the other one. basically go back through most of this level in layer 4 to get all the gem there. get all the gem I could have picked up some of these gems before but there wasn't really much point since I would need to come back anyways I just kill myself here because the checkpoint's like a couple screens to the right, so it saved me a bit of time to just do a deliberate death. And like I said, things just keep getting worse. But I need to I need to be in layer six to open those. Come on. The box wow. sometimes do not want to cooperate and actually cough up their gems. It's really weird. Anyway, layer six is the first layer where um, you can stand on certain blocks and have them disappear. I had to grab some of the gems here in layer four because I can't. again, layer five, you can't actually get the gem block. Do some of that stuff in layer four, but then I need to go back up here get to layer five. able to switch to the right layer. I did not want to jump on that guy. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. That cost me about 20 seconds. But I think I, I think I can still do this. I needed to need to be in layer six for this part anyway, so it's not a 
huge deal, but I would have preferred not to have to do the first part of the level there. And if you've got decent speakers, you might be able to hear a beating heart right here, but it's pretty low on the frequency, so if you don't have good bass, you might not be able to hear it. Well, unfortunately, these, these hands are kind of random, so I have to be careful about uh, exactly where I'm standing, or I might get killed by a flying hand. Thankfully, this isn't a, com completely an auto-scroller, so I can kind of get ahead of the blood cloud or whatever you want to call that. Shoot, I'm going to get my This one, I had to go back for it. And like I said uh, earlier, the gems... I only have to pick them up once, so I don't have to go back for any that I got the first time around. Oh, come on, really? Wow, that guy was on point. Yeah, that was... Also, those um, thorns in the beginning kill you. Yeah. Yeah, the, flo the things that were flowers in layer 1 are thorns in layer 6 or worse. So, they do kill you. Right, and the checkpoint's like right there, so if I just made it a little bit further, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have had to do the beginning of that level all in mean, like three times. But... I said the collision in this is kind of flaky, unpredictable. Okay, so this level is pretty long because it it's got a lot of backtracking to grab all the gems. So this would be a good time for donations. If there are any. All right, I have a twenty dollar donation from Super Zero Sonic. Best of luck in all the games. I have a ten dollar donation from Cyberbot X. Says UA, I just wanted to let you know, good luck. We're all counting on you. On that note, I am going to bed right after a version because of my job. Boo. Also want to see Brosentia do the sketch glitch in Final Fantasy VI. Hopefully it does it without puns, but that is probably wishful thinking. We have a five dollar donation from Miski that says, UA, thanks for all your hard work during these events every year on top of doing runs. Put this towards a comfy pillow for UA. Remember, <laughs> Don't touch the wires. <laughs> <laughs> so, one thing about this level is I have to be very careful once I've opened up certain parts of the level in certain layers. I basically need to go through the entire level like three times without dying. Or, it basically, then if I do die, I'd have to basically do the entire, that entire section all over again. So, I'm being really careful around these hands. I'm also trying to kill as many enemies as I can as I go through so that I'll have fewer obstacles on the way through, on the way back. Because even after I get all the way back up to layer 1, I'm going to have to then come back to layer 5, I think it is, because there's, there's a spot that I can only open in layers 2 and 3, but I need to be in layer 5 to actually get, get up the gems in there. But I need to go to layer 1 first, so I have to go... I start off in layer 7, then I have to do some stuff in layer 6 and 5, and then I have to... I basically have to go all the way from layer 7 to 1, and then back, all without dying. Yeah, this level took me about 30 minutes in my casual playthrough. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. So these it's gems, cool. that, those plants right there, I need to be in level 5, or they're blocking my path. I have a $35 donation from Tareth Averin. says, awesome runs, awesome cause. How could I resist donating? Keep up the good work, guys. I couldn't get these gems earlier because this uh, 
layer one is the only layer where those trees are there and the clouds are not solid. And those blocks right there, I had to open up in layer six. So I needed to go all the way from layer six to level one, or layer one without dying. But now, now I get to trek back to layer five. I've got a $25 donation from Dezo that says, Go UA, rescue that princess. <laughs> $20 donation from Bryant Devalier says, This game is pretty interesting. Thanks for showing it and running it, UA. Hopefully people leave your wires alone. Again, as a reminder, any donation during the Aversion game will be put in for a chance to win the Aversion Perla set. just realized I forgot to grab a couple of gems earlier, but I, I can grab them now, so it's not a big deal. But it would have been nice to not have to be able to grab these earlier, but I forgot to hit the blocks. There's basically only a couple more spots where I can die and actually lose time, but these stupid hands on these hits right up here, so I'm going to be way more careful than I really need to be, but okay. pretty much home free. It's actually faster to restart the stage to get back to layer 7 because there's some gems at the end of the stage that you can only get to layer 7 realistically. Or at least as far as I know. Wouldn't surprise me if there's some way I don't know about to get them easier, but. Plus, it makes it easier to show off uh, the uh, normal ending. This is the normal ending. Don't stop telling me that not anywhere near done. Oh, now we found our girlfriend or the princess or whoever this is. But since this isn't the true ending, one thing is about to go. And just to make it spookier, the game closes itself at that point. Nice. So. Sweet dreams. Uh, as the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so when you get all the gems, you can now switch to layer 8 at the beginning of World 7. When you get to the end of... When you get to the end of World 7 on Layer 8, that opens up the true final stage. And as you can see, everything is hyper dangerous here. Very angry looking. Thankfully, it's a terribly hard layer to that. As you can see, the end of the level has changed slightly. The original version of this game had a completely different final stage, but uh, when he made the... Uh, he updated the version... Like, th there's a freeware version of this game. Um, he updated that, he made like an HD version, and then he, shortly after that he made a Steam version. The original version of this stage was... Um, the, it would randomly switch you between layers, so it was very hard to get like a good time on it because you, you were basically at the mercy of the RNG. 
because there were only there were certain spots where you could only get through on a certain layer, and so you basically just had to wait for the game to give you the right layer. Th whereas this stage is more like the the maze levels in Super Mario Bros. You have to be on certain layers when you pass certain checkpoints or little more to range places. Um, so this level isn't too difficult. This is the fastest route that I know of through this level. I believe it was discovered by Matt Blitz, who currently has, I believe he still currently has the record for this category at like 12 minutes. But uh, this run has been way better. So for some reason, backtracking to get that last clip. Uh, the fastest method for this level. And now I'm basically home free. Oh god! Oh my god. Time. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so here's the true end. The evil was inside you all along. <laughs> thing I want to show off real fast. There is a secret ending that uh, some people might not know about. Oh no. <laughs> the In order to get the secret ending, you either have to beat world 7 or 8 while on layer 4. Which isn't an obvious... Doing that it is not uh, an obvious thing. Or how to do it, rather. This will look pretty similar to how I just ran through this level. Except with one critical change. Once I switched to layer 4, that I then turned around because for some reason... That's not right. Hmm. Okay. Uh. I'll just go to layer. I'll just go to World Seven because apparently I forgot how to actually get the secret ending. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. That's not how I remember. <laughs> That's not how I remember that working. But... Oh, whoops. And I forgot to hit the flip point. I finished it on layer 4, it switches to layer 4. Oh god, you broke it. And <laughs> the enemies on layer 4 don't move, so they're stuck there for eternity. That's the secret ending. <laughs> nice. So that's the version. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Received a $166.66 .66 donation. <laughs>